No messages for you, Commander. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. You know who I am, Kasumi. I'm not here to play games. I heard you were hardcore, Chef, but I figured you'd be up for some intrigue. Kasumi Goto, at your service. But you apparently already knew that. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard.
dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Broadcasting orders over loudspeaker. Charming. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Observation post, and ready for a fight, it looks like. Concussive shot, ready. Bleeding. I'm gonna. Son of a bitch. Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an arm, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move on that Krogan pack. You heard the man on the radio. He needs direction. I, I don't have the info they want. You showed up before I could get my normal sightings. You have other problems. Patrol, uh, uh, pack sighting east of Station 2. Yeah. Copy. East of 2. Bitch. They'll run blind into Krogan. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, even. How smart are they to start? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. The scare was a nice touch. I thought so. Come on. Our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation, legal and otherwise. Hostiles ahead, watch it. Oh. I need cover. Ah. Hey. Now let's uh. finish you off. Got no shield.
can stay down. It's me, Shepard. different. New. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. He's only a week old? He must know something about all this if he survived this long. Survive? Yes, I must survive, but not here. Not against these fleshy shapes. I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, 
shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be tested, but for what? I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? I have no idea. It doesn't look like he's had much success with these Krogan. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. Maybe he's prone to the insanity that the Merc mentioned. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. and dangerous. You fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab. No. A Krogan refusing to fight? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Don't like the look of that. Stay alert.
shields down. Watch the Krogan! We can use this. Shot ready. Concentrate on the croak and charge, or we're all dead. Who was a genius who gave them arms? Thank you. 
Concentrate fire on my position! Concentrate on- Should slow him down. Slow him down.
Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. No one in Saren's lab was worth saving. Bringing that up won't help you here. Yeah, I'm not proud of what went on there, but I'm using what we learned for the greater good. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir moves her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Time to run again, Rana. You never know when I might blow up next. Suppose I can't expect a warm goodbye after the last mess. Don't worry. I'm staying the hell away from whatever you do and wherever you go. Thanks anyway, Shepard. You give too many favors. Watched your progress. Oh, it's this. It's about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. Not the smartest way to greet the heavily armed group that just kicked in your door. I'm sure whoever sent you doesn't want me dead. No one looks for me without a motive. Certainly not the deceased Shepard. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I make no apologies. It was the most efficient solution. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army. But she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about the Collectors. We couldn't care less about your problems. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. 
Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My... Rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than the Phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or Horde would. My legacy is perfection, with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them many Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. I'm getting you out of here. Cerberus has interrogators who can figure out if it's useful or not. Any group that spent enough to rebuild you won't care what it does to me. Perhaps we can strike a deal. One that secures my prototype. It is key. That weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. Sorry, Doctor. It appears your position just weakened. I understand, but you'll have nothing if she poisons us all. Jador will be with the rejected takes. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done.
talk to them. I'll light them up. The first system is active. Why would someone so fanatical sacrifice himself for one Krogan? No telling what Oak here jammed into this thing's head. Releasing it may not be wise. Do we need the trouble of a pure Krogan? The normal ones are hardly team players. We won't know until he's out, which is too late if there is a problem. Normandy, Oak here is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. for study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. Edie, how quickly can the cargo hold be vented to space if there's an issue? 28 seconds, Shepard. And if anyone else is in the hold at the time? Edie, how many other crew are on board the Normandy? 24 permanent crew, Shepard. 
It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Anything that could affect the ship or the mission is my business. I need to know you two won't be a problem. Now you sound like Cerberus. It's not an issue. It was a long time ago. That's the end of it. I think that's enough talking. I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. True. How may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? It's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Bert and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking them. Op check is clean. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Yeah, Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. Don't worry about it. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We're going to make those dirty buggers pay. This mission takes me back. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he's hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. 
No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. I won't be second-guessed on my own ship by my own ship. Do it. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want? I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I took you and I released you. Follow my command and you'll have purpose. Nothing in the tank imprints indicated humans could be so forceful. You command as though you've earned it. My enemies threaten galaxies. Everyone on my ship has earned their place. Hmm. Hmm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. <laughs> Offer one hand but arm the other. Why, Shepard? find a clan. If I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? Blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. That's all for now. Shepard.
Shepard, the women's restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil ge Emphasis on the evil. People think he's on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ramen. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me.